We've looked at MGFs for Bernoulli and binomial, and now it's time to think about continuous random variables. So let's use a gamma distribution with parameters a and lambda. So what this means is our PDF looks like this. We have 1 over the gamma function of a times 1 over lambda to the a, x to the a minus 1 times e to the negative x over lambda, and this is just for x greater than 0. Um, so I give you this PDF because there's a couple different parameterizations for a gamma distribution, and this is the PDF that we're going to use in this example. All right, so that's our gamma distribution. Now let's find the MGF. So let's just start with the definition of MGF. MGF is equal to the expected value of e to the tx. So we know that an expected value is an integral. So we're going to integrate from 0 to infinity because x takes on values um, from 0 to infinity. So here we go. We have our PDF here and then e to the tx. So remember when we're looking for the expected value of a function of x, we have the function of x, oops, here's the function of x, and then the PDF of x. And then we integrate with respect to x. All right, so now we're just going to move forward, crunching some numbers. Um, let's take out the things that are not a function of x, just that it kind of cleans up the integral a little bit. So we have gamma function of a, lambda to the a, Let's take those out, pull them out of the integral, and now we have integral from 0 to infinity of x to the a minus 1, and then we have these two e's, so let's combine the exponents, so we have e to the, both of these have x, so let's say e to the negative x times 1 over lambda minus t, so we're just combining these two pieces here. Okay, so now, if we look at this integral, it looks like we're integrating over a gamma distribution because we're integrating from 0 to infinity and we have x to the something minus 1 and then we have e to the negative x times another something. So what that means is this is a gamma distribution, or at least part of a gamma distribution, with first parameter is a because we know that the first parameter is x to the first parameter minus 1, so that's what we have here. And then for a gamma distribution second parameter, we know it should look like e to the negative x over second parameter. And what we have here is e to the negative x times some other thing. So that means that 1 divided by this is our second parameter. All right, so our parameters for our gamma distribution are a and then 1 over what I just circled, so in other words, 1 over 1 over lambda minus t. All right, so I point this out because since um, we have a gamma, then we know that this is true. We know if we integrate over this gamma distribution's PDF, we should get 1, right? So 1 is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over gamma of a times second parameter 1 over lambda minus t. Um, to the a, and then we have x to the a minus 1, and then e to the negative x, and then 1 over lambda minus t. So we're just taking our gamma distribution, and anywhere we um, would have seen the second parameter, we're plugging in 1 over 1 over lambda minus t. Okay, so if we pull out this piece right here that I'm putting a box around, if we pull that in front of the integral, and actually divide it to the over si other side, then we get 1 over lambda minus t. All of that to the negative a power is equal to 1 over gamma function of a times the integral from 0 to infinity, x to the a minus 1, e to the negative x times 1 over lambda minus t dx. So all I've done here is rearranged. I took this boxed quantity to the other side and then pulled this out in front of the integral. Okay, so why do I bring this up? Because this, on the right-hand side here, looks just like what we have here. So what that means is this equation can continue by equating it to 1 over lambda minus t to the negative a. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do that part. <coughs> so we still have, if we're continuing our MGF here, we still have this piece, so we cannot forget to hold on to that. Um, but what we're doing is replacing this and this entire integral <coughs> with that there. All right, so we still have the 1 over lambda to the a. So maintain that. We have 1 over lambda, all that to the a. And then we have this piece here. So let's copy that over. 1 over 1 over lambda minus t to the eighth power. And since this is to the a and this is to the a, we can combine them. So we get 1 over lambda times 1 over 1 over lambda minus t, all of that to the a. All right, now if we look in here, we can multiply the lambda across. Lambda times 1 over lambda is 1, and then lambda times t is lambda t. So that is our MGF for a gamma distribution with parameters a and lambda. All right, so that's our MGF. Now you can go ahead, take a first derivative, evaluate at zero to find the expected value of a gamma distribution, and then take a second derivative, evaluate at zero, use all that to find the variance of a gamma distribution. So you go ahead and work on that. When you're done, check your answer. The expected value should be equal to lambda a, and the variance should be equal to lambda squared times a. Good luck.